What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to Pokemon Black and White. Today we're taking on the third Elite Four member rematch part two thing, Caitlyn. Actually, it's part three of the rematches, but a part two as in round two of the Elite Four. That's what I meant. Anyway, once again, we go up on some kind of golden ball thing, and uh, she's going to be sound asleep. That's, that's what she does. I don't know. But yeah, she comes out from her deep slumber, and who's there? Who is so uncouth as to disturb my sleep. Oh, it's just you again. Still, you possess that combination of kindness and strength, yet you seem stronger than before. Do be sure not to bore me with the snooze-inducing battle. Is that clear? Of course it is. Let's fight Caitlyn. Caitlyn is, uh, of course, the lady with the hearts growing out of her hair for some reason. That's, that's really weird. I just realized that, by the way. She's got hearts growing out of her hair. I don't know how that's even humanly possible, but uh, I've come to realize that most Pokemon trainers aren't even human, um, as demonstrated by, you know, that one lady, the one that writes fan fictions. Yeah. A wonderful time is about to start. I like this moment. Yep, totally. So anyway, she's uh, she uses Psychic-type Pokemon. I'll stop talking about how all these Elite Four are super creepy weirdos. One's like a weird vampire. The other one's a furry fan fiction writer and this lady has hair or hearts growing out of her hair and a couple other weird stuff anyway I take out her um her Musharna there pretty easily I didn't think it would be that easy actually I thought it would take a little bit more <clears throat> because from you could from what you could tell if you go back for a little bit she's got that hypnosis dream eater combo and it can actually be very annoying but fortunately for me uh, I did a pretty good job at it apparently and uh, Psychic doesn't even kill me, so I can go for the Ice Beam on the Sigilyph, and I'm actually going to heal up Charlie right here. Oh, look at that. It does a lot more damage than I thought. I thought it would do about half damage, but apparently it does a lot more, and I know I can survive um, a few Psychics, so, and by that I mean three, so I can go off for the Hyper Potion on my own Charlie, Pokemon, Unicorn, Narwhal thing, and uh, go for two Ice Beams and take out Sigilyph, maybe, I think, probably. Also, I just realized that Hyper Potions don't actually heal up my Pokemon all the way. Even though, uh, I've never, like in any Pokemon game, I have never ever bought Max Potions. I, I don't know why, I never really seem to think that they're helpful, just because if you're gonna have your Pokemon such high level, it's probably gonna be for Wi-Fi, and you can't even use, uh, potions in Wi-Fi, so. I don't know, I've never really had that in mind, and apparently Charlie can't take out Sigilyph, even though in my test recording of this, I was able to take it out very, very easily, but... Apparently my Hyper Potion failed me, so let's finish it off with a- Whoa, this thing has its own Ice Beam! Was not expecting that. That might- Nope, does not kill me. Nice. So let's go for a Shadow Punch and finish it off. Awesome Souse. Alright, so, uh, Caitlyn, as you can see, I mean, she, uh, she's got the Psychic Pokemon, and she has six of them like everyone else in the Elite Four, I guess. Uh, but she's not really all that difficult to take out, really, I mean, or at least for me. Uh, but like I said, I did grind up a lot, or not really grinded, but I got my Pokemon, I think, to way too high level. Even though for some reason, being five levels below, I couldn't take care of any of these Pokemon, they would all kill me. Now being one level under them just makes things so easy, I don't know why. Might be the moves that I got, but, like, I really don't even think so. I just think it's that the, the Elite Four are really just not that difficult in this game. Uh, I think the challenge of this game really comes more from the... Like the battle subway and stuff like that. I don't know. I just, I just don't really think this game is that challenging. I don't know why. Um, like at first when I played it, it was like, oh well, you know, without grinding or cheating or rare candying, doesn't matter how you train really, as long as you get enough levels, the game just becomes so easy. And this Zen headbutt better not kill me because I'm gonna go off for an earthquake right here. Uh, but of course it does. I thought it was gonna be not very effective, but apparently it's, uh, it's just neutral effective. Oh well. Guess I'm gonna have to go for Vinny. I was avoiding using Vinny because I know Vinny can kick this guy's complete, like his whole team's butt, um, with Crunch and High Jump Kick. High Jump Kick is just for Bronzong and Metagross. Oh no, that doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. But yeah, I, I know that Vinny can pretty much take out this guy's entire team, and I think Crunch might be super effective. Is Crunch? No, it's not, because uh, Crunch is neutral effective on Steel type, or not very effective. Sorry. Whoa, Giga Impacted. That might actually kill me, but hey, I have a bunch of revives, so doesn't even matter how hard you try. Uh, let's go for Poncho now. Actually, I should have gone for, like, um, Heatmore there. 
or Nova. So let's go for a wake up slap, which will hopefully take it out. Not sure. I know that it will be neutral effective, and nope, does not. Oh well, I know I'm faster, and he's not going to full restore it up, so there we go. That's Metagross. Three Pokemon down, three to go. Actually, is it three down, or is it four down already? I don't know why. The test recording was a lot easier than this has been. Uh, so let's stay in on Poncho, who can hopefully get off some tail slaps against this thing. And, uh, look at that. Frisk is targeted and found a scope lens. No, he's got two Pokemon left. That was four down. Two to go. Gothitelle and, uh, Bronzor. Or Bronzong, sorry. Hopefully, um, Nova the Firefighter will be able to take out Bronzong. And, by the way, I noticed in the comments before, uh, people thought I named Nova after Uber Hexer Nova. And, of course, I do watch his videos. Um, as you may tell from the likes that I give to videos, I don't know why, I just give out likes to, like, every video I watch, uh, but I always watch, like, videos for my subscriptions, so, it always ends up being, like, videos that I actually think are cool, even though I do usually like all the videos I watch, but because I think all of the videos that I watch are mostly videos that I actually enjoy, so, whenever you're, like, scouting around my likes or whatever, um, I do have my recent activity posted on my channel, so if you guys ever want to check out videos that I'm watching currently, um, rather than being, like, on my Twitter or whatever, because I never use that, uh, just go ahead and check out, like, the recent activities feed, because usually that's where I like videos and stuff like that. So you'll see usually what I'm watching, and, uh, yeah, that's basically how you keep, uh, how you know the kind of videos that I watch and the people that I'm subscribed to. Uh, but like I said, I don't know, I watch a lot of Nova and SSO and their Minecraft stuff, and, uh, I'm actually thinking, like, I don't know, maybe I could do something similar to that with, uh, some TGS people. Um, do some Minecraft custom adventure maps or something. Anyway, that was Caitlyn. Uh, you are an excellent, an excellent trainer. Your Pokemon also have class. And that's it. But yeah, I'm sorry that I couldn't post this yesterday, by the way. I didn't mention that yet. But, uh, last, even with the knowledge and skill passed down into my family of trainers, I still can't win. The reason I came here in the first place was to encounter trainers like you. Yeah, sorry I couldn't post this yesterday, uh, but I was extremely busy and, uh, I didn't even record anything. Like, I didn't have time. Uh, but today, today is actually, uh, Saturday, which means this will be the first video of today. Uh, later today I will actually upload a second black and white video, which will be the final Elite Four Marshall, the fighting type guy. And then tomorrow, Sunday, will be the end of the Elite Four slash Champion, which will be Alder, the super cool, pervy sage champion guy. Also, I'm just healing all my Pokemon here. I apologize for the black screen of nothing. I'm, I'm kind of trying to get that update out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Long... <coughs> Jeez. Goodbye.